Hello scientific people, how are you? So today I'm going to talk about a very interesting electrical device that is generally used till grade 12 and this is called rheostat. Rheostat itself is a very interesting instrument and this is also sometimes called as a variable resistor. So let's understand the principle and let us understand the construction as well. Rheostate basically is a variable resistor and it is used to vary the current in the circuit. So it is also called a current controlling device. You can see that as per the international standards, this is the symbol of the rheostat. So you might have heard the name of this, this uh, English scientist if you are in grade 12, which Stonebridge is a very famous experiment that you perform in grade 12. And let us now look at the construction. It has got three terminals people. So this is terminal number one, terminal number two, terminal number three. So these two are fixed terminals whereas this is called as the moving terminal. This is called sliding contact. It can move like this. It is also sometimes called as a wiper. In some of the ICSE textbook they have mentioned this as jockey. You can see that these wires are wounded over a ceramic material. So this is a ceramic material on which the wires are continuously wound like this. So this is the construction guys and this slider actually moves over a metal rod. Right now let us try to understand its application in electrical circuits. So here is the figure that represents the rheostat. Now these two are the fixed terminals, right? And this one is the movable terminal and this is jockey or you may call this as a wiper or sliding contact. Now we know that resistance of any conductor is equal to rho L by A. So resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. Which means that if I have a coil having three turns and if I have coil having say one, two, three, four, five, six turns. Now if I allow the current to flow through this coil say like this, then the current will pass through smaller number of turns, only two turns and if I if I like elongate it like this, the length of this conductor, length of this solenoid would be small. So here the length is small. So the current has to pass through smaller length. So the resistance over here would be less. And here if I allow the current to flow, the current will flow through larger number of turns and the length of the conductor over here would be larger. So the current, the resistance would be larger. So the value of current would decrease over here. So ideally, larger the length of the conductor, more is the resistance, like in this case, smaller the length of the conductor, smaller the number of turns, less the resistance, so the current coming out would be more. Right guys? Now suppose if I am using, if I am using these two as the terminals and I am not using this one, so compulsory the current will enter from here it will pass through all the turns. So the length of the turns would be very large. So larger would be the resistance. So that means under that situation, this rheostat will work as a fixed resistor. It will not work as a variable resistor. But now suppose if I am using these two terminals A and B, so the current will come like this and the current will pass from here, it will pass from here and then it is going to come out like this. So now the current will pass through lesser number of turns. So it will pass through less length of the conductor. So the resistance decreases. Now if you bring this sliding contact over here. So now the current will have to flow through larger number of turns and finally the current will leave from here. So now the resistance increases. So while you are using these two as the terminals. There is no question about this one because the current always flows from a closed circuit. So the current will go like this 
and finally the current is going to come out from here so the current can never come out from here if you are using these two terminals so if i use these two terminals over here so the current will enter from here it will flow through less number of turns and finally it will go out from here but if i move like this the current will have to flow from larger number of turns and finally it will go out from here so that means i have increased the number of turns so length increases and resistance increases but if you use these two terminals there is no point about this terminal so the current will have to pass through all the the turns and finally it will become a fixed resistor so hopefully guys you have understood the functioning of the rheostat right and if you have any doubts please post in the comment section thank you for watching the video